Hey folks, we're going to talk about completing reactions. This is going to be a very short podcast, only because most of it's review. The uh, reaction types you have to know are these five. You have to be able to look at them and understand what they are and be able to predict the products. Now, two of them we spent a lot of time predicting products, which are single replacement and double replacement. We haven't spent much time with the other three, so I'm going to spend a little bit more time with those today. Uh, what I'd like you to do is pause the video, please, and see if you can identify what types of reactions these are, and then um, see if you can predict the products. So pause the video, see if you can do that. Okay, your first one is single replacement. You can tell that because you have an element and a compound. Your second one is double replacement because they're both compounds. Your third one is decomposition because there's only one thing, one reactant. This one is going to be calcium and chlorine, so this is going to be synthesis or direct combination. And your last one is going to be combustion because you have a carbon-hydrogen compound plus oxygen. All right. So you should be able to look at this and said, say, magnesium plus silver nitrate produces the magnesium and the silver are going to switch places. So you're going to have silver and you're going to have magnesium nitrate. Right? I'm not going to spend any more time on that. You have to figure out whether it actually happens, etc., by looking at the activity series. Here you have a double replacement, so the silver and the copper replace each other, and then you have to figure out whether this actually happens. All right, here are the three that you're not as familiar with, silver nitrate. I would simply say that everything breaks down into its component elements. So you'd split this down into silver plus nitrogen plus oxygen. Now, oxygen and nitrogen are both diatomic, so to make this happen we need to double the size of the reaction so that we can balance everything. So that's decomposition. Calcium and chlorine, what you have to do is you have to put calcium, which is an element, plus chlorine, which happens to be a diatomic element, which makes CaCl2. So that's very convenient. And then finally, you have butane reacting with oxygen. Whenever you have a combustion reaction, you're always adding oxygen to a carbon-hydrogen or carbon-hydrogen-oxygen compound, and you're always producing carbon dioxide and water. And so this is going to uh, take eight of these, and it's going to take ten of these, and it's going to take thirteen oxygens, I believe. All right, so you should be able to uh, predict your product and balance your reaction. All right, here are five more. Go ahead and see if you can uh, identify them, predict the products, etc. Go do the whole thing. Pause the video and do it. No, don't wait for me. You go ahead and do it yourself. Okay, welcome back. Iron plus oxygen. All right, well, that is synthesis. And that's probably going to be Fe2O3, because that happens to be rust. Now, if you put down FeO, that's okay, because I didn't. there's no way of telling which iron we're talking about. All right, your second one here is combustion. Because, again, we have a carbon-hydrogen or carbon-hydrogen-oxygen compound. And we are combining with oxygen. That means we're burning it. And that's going to produce carbon dioxide and water. Uh, again, I have to make two of those to make this happen. I'm going to have three of these and two of those and four of those. And I think that all balances. All right, magnesium borate, you're going, that's clearly a decomposition reaction. So that's magnesium borate. And it decomposes into magnesium and boron. And oxygen, remember oxygen's diatomic. So we have three oxygens, we've got two borons, and we've got three magnesiums. These last two, this is a double replacement reaction, which you should be very familiar with, and single replacement reaction. 
You should be able to determine whether those happen, etc., etc., etc. All right, that's it. Told you it was a short video. So you should be able to do this. You have a worksheet to practice on. If you have questions, see us in class. Take care. Bye.